Somebody stop me! Uh -oh. Can't make the scene if you don't have the green. I better make a little stop. Now, it's time to focus more on the main engine. And came back repaired from the guys at the workshop. As you can remember from the previous episodes, this one got stuck and they finally managed to take it out nice and proper without damaging the whole unit. Here as you can see this is another bolt fitted to see if everything was okay but the previous stud was pulled out. It gave them a hell as well but they're professionals and they know what they're doing so they managed to take it out without damaging anything. And now I need to clean out all this gunk out of it. Uh, it will take some time but better take good care of this because it's been abused a lot by many previous owners and we got the damaged final piece which needed a lot of care but with the right amount of patience anything can be fixed. It cannot fix itself this one could only break so now I have to invest the right amount of time to it, cleaning it. Uh, for cleaning agents I'm going to use diesel as it uh, cleans out a lot of the gunk and leaves 
uh, layer of oil to it. I will clean that further on then, but it will not oxidize the aluminium, so it will keep it safe from any pitting or fretting. Uh, I will be cleaning also the upper parts. I will clean up the fuel rail and change the injectors. I will clean up the passageways and repair the throttle body as well to give it this to professionals to weld it because it's an aluminium piece and I, my MIG welder is for steel I will need to clean up the exhaust manifold and from there on the next part is to clean all this the lower piece of the engine the gearbox, the housing the main parts of the gearbox uh, as for now the next thing I will be doing is just taking parts such as the engine block and the lower piece of the engine block and start to clean it with some diesel will be placed in this basin and then after that I will be using some of these brushes, the small ones just to polish certain areas which I can reach such as the fins obviously never touch the facing neither these neither down here neither these guys over here most definitely not these faces but it's just cleaning the outer parts where it's more rough and that's about it for now and the next item will be you watching me cleaning this the most boring and tedious part of it all but ever so rewarding because you'll have a very shiny result not as dark as this one I've just sprayed some diesel onto it and the diesel will soften the dirt from it and it will be as clean as that as I've previously tested now you leave it for a couple of minutes so it could soak it nice and deep and look as you can see quickly and surely it will clean it off let's find a piece which is easy to see remember these you can use it and reuse it just filter it out and you'll have yourself some reusable diesel so as you can see here nice and clean and it would save you a lot of money from buying uh, degreasers and also after all this uh, I would need to take that layer the diesel has of oil onto the casting uh, the easiest method to use is either clean it again with kerosene or just some WD-40 and it will take off that layer so you could place the gaskets onto it and voila you can see everything is nice and clean obviously you need to let it sink in so it could make a better effect. I've just given it just five minutes that's not enough to let the diesel sink into the gunk that lies ahead. But as you can see it's much cleaner now and without any waste of money and buying the greasers. So here let's watch a flat piece and see all the dirt sliding away like so and I will proceed with cleaning this lower engine piece